guys, it's me, the back of We Are Possible and Teen Music Insider, and today I'm here with... JC, and I'm Keen. And I'm Ansley from Teen Music Insider and We Are Possible. Do you guys want to start off the interview by telling us a little bit about yourselves? Um, my name is JC Kalen. I am turning 25 in two days, so happy birthday to us. Yeah, hey, happy birthday to us. Happy birthday, okay, anyway. <laughs> um, I own uh, a dog and a cat. I live in Los Angeles with this guy, and I make videos on the internet. I'm Kian Lolly. Um, I turned 22 uh, about a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I live in Los Angeles, California, like he said. Really? With who? This guy. Okay. Uh, and I'm an actor slash influencer slash cool guy. Cool jack of guy. all trades. Yeah, I'm a jack of all trades. Triple threat guy. <laughs> I just make videos on YouTube, I guess. Yeah, that's about it. So do you want to tell us a little bit why it's so important for you guys to be part of this campaign? Hashtag teens helping teens. Hashtag teens helping teens. Um, I think it's very important because well, not only because it's so, it's so, uh, it's so in the now. You know what I mean? It's so, um, it's like a huge, a huge thing now. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Basically, basically, we're a community. We're a, we're a bunch of kids, and uh, just like the name Teens Helping Teens, we're here to help each other. Um, I think it's super important if someone's going through something to find someone else, to find someone else who's going through the same thing and talk about it and see what helps you and see what makes you happier and gets you through uh, hard days. Um, I think that's important to me because I've dealt with stuff in the past like that and the, the thing that helped me the most was just support from other people. Yeah, and I think a big thing is like Keen and I, we make YouTube videos so there's a lot of people that look up to us um, and we've, we've grown this like audience and I think it's important to, uh, I guess, spread a good message and um, we've been through it and I think we're at a good, we're at a good spot in our life now, and we want to like help others, uh, you know, find the light too. I guess. Yeah. So with you guys, you're saying you uh, film YouTube videos and you put out very <laughs> entertaining videos. Yeah. <laughs> what uh, is it like being on camera and talking about such serious topics? See, I think it, it's honestly not well. It's not horrible. I mean, it's not like not horrible. It's not. <laughs> it's not very like whoa. It's so scary to do this because. This, uh, this is our lives. We are in front of like this cam like a camera on a tripod. So it's very easy to talk um, like up front about this. And we've talked about subjects like this in our videos. So um, yeah, it comes natural to us, I feel. Yeah, I was gonna say, we, we our usual video style isn't necessarily the cleanest. It's yeah. kinda, we kinda <laughs> make fun of ourselves to help others, you know, to, yeah. to spread entertainment and joy. Kinda make ourselves look stupid to make other people laugh. Um, <laughs> But yeah, like he was saying, we, we do make videos like this to, uh, to help because we have a voice. We have a, a pretty large voice and we're blessed to have it. Not everyone gets to have a, a certain voice like this. So I think it's super important to use it for the greater good. Because um, a lot of people who necessarily have this, have, have this voice don't use it for, for stuff like this. And I think, uh, I think it's important to spread this message. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, what can you reveal? Like something that your supporters don't know that could possibly help someone who needs it. Oh man, I mean, I, I there's like there's like I guess like a story, um, but I can like kind of shorten it um, for time's sake. But when I was growing up, I think the lowest I've ever been was probably when I was in college, and my my, my family didn't have a lot of money. So when I was going to college, um, I had to pay for my own college, and I was working a nine to five, well, not nine to five job. I was working like a, a minimum wage job uh, to pay for a college that I was failing. So it was kind of like a a circle of like a bad life. Like I was I was being late to my my classes and I was failing, and I was going to work to pay for what I was failing. And so I think that's like probably the lowest time in my life where I just felt so unhappy. And you know those times where like I cried in my car after work and stuff like that, and it was really bad. But I know it's probably gonna lead to another question. But what kept me together was like the whole YouTube thing. Yeah. So that's why I think it's good to like stick to the things that like you're very passionate about and like get your mind like the bad stuff. Definitely. 
Um, I feel like I've shared my story prior to this. Um, quite, yeah, quite a few times. I've, I've grown up with anxiety. I developed it about 10th grade, sophomore year. Um, I didn't know what it was. A lot of my friends didn't uh, have it. No one I knew had anything like it. My parents didn't know because I didn't really talk about it because I didn't know what it was. Um, and it led me to failing school, like he said. Uh, it led me to the loss of friends, loss of uh, um, opportunities, this and that, you name it. I was just going, I felt like I was going downhill and not necessarily like externally. On, on the outside it looked happy, I looked normal. But on the inside I was, I was breaking down and I didn't know how to get out. But like I said before, it's all support and it's all talking to people and finding out what makes people happy uh, and what helps each other. And YouTube. YouTube was my uh, YouTube was my therapy. So what advice could you give to your supporters who go through anxiety and depression on a daily basis? Um, support. A support group or a person. Um, that is the thing that helped me. Also another thing that helped me was being alone. I felt like I had uh, oh, so long I, I forgot what it was. It was I basically had anxiety in big crowds of people. I had anxiety um, like when I had to present, I had anxiety when I was, you know, in a plane or in my classroom. So my thing was to be alone. If I was alone, I was completely happy. I was completely content because no one could bother me. No one could tell me what to do. Um, I was just all by myself in my own little bubble. But yeah, other than that, uh, find some support. Find something that makes you happy. For me, it was YouTube. Yeah, same here. Um, you know, but also being in my, my little bubble, being alone in my room on my computer, uh, was kind of just me hiding the fact that I needed help, I needed serious help. I couldn't hide my whole life in my room. Um, and that's what led me here today. I'm outside and I'm filming this for all of you guys to, to help you. Um, it for sure led me down a path to you know serious help. I, I was done hiding. I was done trying to fight it on my own. I needed other people, I needed uh, I needed more help other than myself because I wasn't giving myself my, uh, the help I needed. So how did you learn to deal with all the hate on social media that you guys did receive when you started growing? Um, hate on, oh my gosh. Uh, I think the biggest uh, amount or the, the most that affected me was back when I first started. Um, when I was back in high school. So, like I said, like maybe junior, senior year, that's when I got the most comments of like, what are you doing? Like, this is like weird, like, you know, I don't know, all, all the names of the book. Um, I don't know whether it pushed me through it. Uh, it was more of just so like the passion of it, ma like making, you know, it was, it was more of like making 10 people happy and then like one person is like, oh, you're a weirdo. It's like those 10 people kind of overpowered that one person, like, didn't care. And so, I mean, I'm glad that I did because it led me to where I am today. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard. I don't know. I don't really know. Like, I don't know how to like explain this well because I was never so deep into depression. Um, I don't know. I, I just feel like what helped me a lot was YouTube and and reading everyone's comments. You know, there was some negative, but I think the the positivity definitely was So I just paid attention to that. So with this uh, coalition, it's all about hashtag teens helping teens. <laughs> uh, what advice or what do you want to tell your supporters to get them through this campaign and show them the importance of being there for each other? Um, a super important thing, I think, uh, is to not bully. Don't make the problem worse. Don't, um, don't. A thing for me was uh, people trying to be there for me was very comforting, but also the people who didn't really know what I was going through, uh, they would kind of say, leave it alone, oh, it's nothing, oh, it's all in your head. For those people, they were trying to help, which is very, very, uh, I, mean, I was thankful for those people, but it's, it's for sure all about the people who have dealt with it before, who are dealing with it now, who help. So if you're trying to make the situation better, but you're making it worse, um, I don't know where else to go with that. I think, flash it at the I think, I think you basically kind of like try to seek help for the people that know what you're going through. Yeah, instead of just going like a robot. Yeah, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't, <laughs> no, but I just wouldn't, I wouldn't know what anxiety feels like, so it's hard to help you. Yeah, I remember, like, I remember going to my brother, he's like, oh, it's on your head, just forget about it. And I was like, 
Thanks, man. Cool. No, I did it yesterday. Today. I had a huge panic attack, and it, they just happened. Yeah, and it's crazy because you were like, you're okay, just, you'll go, you'll do better. And you're like, nope. <laughs> Also, I think I think oh sorry I think it's very important that you you kind of step up for people and you know we're all in this together and you're not alone definitely um, there's there's almost everyone goes through problems and a lot of people are are you know going through depression or are gonna go through it in their lifetime so I think it's it's very definitely important to help people um, and definitely not. Feel the fire and be a bully. Yeah, it's it's not always external. It's it's uh, most of the time it's mental and internally. You can you can rep a smile. You can wear a smile uh, for days on end, but it doesn't that doesn't reflect how you feel on the inside. Some people are hiding it, like I was. I was hiding it for so long until I got the serious help. There's for sure there's for sure people out there that were trying to help, but they were inevitably making it worse. It was kind of just, like my brother. I feel like you're throwing my brother my brother from the bus. He was just he was just kind of. It's like, oh, it's in your head, just, you'll, you'll get over it. It's like a sickness, it's like the flu, you'll get over it in a couple of days. I was like, no, you don't know what it is. And he's like, ah, you'll get over it. And I was like, no, it's real. I get it often. Yeah. I think it's very, it's very important to keep an open mind when it comes to this kind of stuff, because for the people that don't have anxiety, they don't really realize what it is to have anxiety. Like myself, I, I don't think I've ever had, I'm sure everyone has anxiety, but there's like a certain degree where people have it worse. Um, but I don't think I've ever, gotten to the point where like he has and so I think yeah you have to keep an open mind about it and be compassionate towards each other and uh, just know that it's actually real <laughs> that people aren't just making that stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is the hashtag teens helping teens really mean to you? Um, teens helping teens I think what it means is basically it's being there for each other and being compassionate like bottom line um, definitely like it's it's almost like a karma effect like be nice to others uh, and you will get that same you know I guess niceness back uh, yeah I would say that's that's pretty much what it means to me yeah to me it's the exact same thing um, we're a community we're all you know we're all part of a group we're all part of a team um, and it's super important to, to help one another whether or not you you're going through the exact same issue whether or not yours is worse than theirs or, or um, less than theirs I think it's important to uh, to be there for one another and it's all about care forgiveness health um, mental and physical emotional um, that's about it yeah. courtesy is very contagious too so if you see someone like being nice it makes you feel good inside and that's just that's just science and uh, if you see that and you help someone else and it's like a domino effect and that's how you change the world. So it starts with just you, you know? Absolutely. That's just science. <laughs> it is. There's a chemical in your body that releases when you see someone do something nice for others. It's actually true. Very true. <laughs> it is. Very, very true. You're so wise in your own Just science, people. It is science. It's all biology. Dude, <laughs> give me a high five. Okay, I'll give you one. All right, there we go. Let's edit that one in. <laughs> just talking, just like... <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for opening up and uh, talking to the, your supporters because I know they all look up to you and yeah. the importance of teens helping teens. I felt like a little flower Thank right you. now. I blossomed. Yeah? I blossomed. I opened up. <laughs> and it felt good. Thank felt you real so good. Much. Thank, Thank you, you guys. guys. Thank you. This is awesome. Very important. Thank you guys. You want to end it with everyone doing hashtag team something? Yes. yes. One, two, three. Hashtag. Dude, it's hashtag first. You did not know that. You just know because I got it wrong. And I took the blow. I was like waiting for them to say it. And I was like, Tracy's like, go into it. You know what we should do? Akuna Matata. Yeah, we usually do that. They'll be down for it. One, two, three. Hashtag teens helping teens. Wow. So, okay. You guys are silly. So they have a, yeah, you guys, to, actually it's going to be really strong, you're going to help a lot of people. But just because we might end up doing a bloopers thing, so if something happens funny, you guys might make it on yeah. bloopers. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a few. Yeah. I hope not. Uh, Alright, so girls, whenever you want to go, Mia, put the paper down. So, one thousand Oh my god, I can't English. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what... Oh my god. It is gracious, I'm going to. Okay, why would you keep an open mind about it and be compassionate? Why?
everyone just made that stuff up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Siren? Like, no, what's up? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, there's a caught on video too. Uh, what do you do? I went for a high five. You did? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you have five yourself at least? Yeah. Right. Okay, good. I don't know who does what does hashtag change. Oh, that's me. Okay, that's me. That's, that's how we end all the interviews because we're going to use this as a snippet when we're posting like it, this. like pre release of the interview. Yeah. So, this is that, what that question is. Oh my god, my hair. It was bad. I was really like. I didn't, you did not put it right there. You yes, were like it. this. So no, I was like right here. <laughs> really? I was yeah. so into it. Sorry. All right. It's all good. Okay. I'll remember that. Uh, Okay, so what does this happen? Oh, yeah, we'll wait for the second. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> I get those all the time. I even in like serious moments. <laughs> I'll be serious when I'm just like What do you mean even in serious moments? When there's a serious moment, that's when you get it. Okay, I'm kind of like that too. If there's something really serious happening, Happening, I just like start laughing about it, and I don't need to. It's just like kind of the awkwardness is trying to yeah. release. Do with my hands. Oh my god, that was pretty Okay.